Oh my boy, dead weight to ready up. It's taking this fucking sweet ass time. We had a slight connectivity issue. Riveting gameplay. I get to stare at the screen. There we go. Hello. And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I... I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. <laughs> Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. You see, you will be determining the outcome of this tale together. What one does will often affect the other. So even though you are two people, you'll be completing the story as if you were one, if that makes any sense. As in life, the actions you take matter. They will determine how your story resolves. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the end. You've seen how the story starts? So much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. God, My if we get everyone what fucking worth killed, is I'll be kind of mad. Thine own self be true. But. Uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. <laughs> but I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing. Before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. 
use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. Okay. None of us here today can understand why That's a young looking tragic accident priest, happened. Pastor. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. My boyfriend's still alive. Oh, see, I knew he didn't die. Andrew, 18. College student. Anxious, detached. <clears throat> oh, I thought his name was Anthony. Taylor, 22. College student, headstrong, sensitive. John, 43, college professor, rational, overbearing. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? Maybe the oh. cops, someone like that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? Oh, oh. what happened? Yeah, the bus cool. crashed. We're okay, though. Cool Just concept. shaking up. You the characters so. from the intro are possibly the I don't characters. Remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. What else we got? Uh. Uh. Daniel. 20, college student. Am uh, amable? Defensive. Phone? July 48, mature student, abrasive, understanding. Where's the mom? That's pretty cool. Hey, oh. anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm alright, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. Hey, Taylor, help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait, I don't remember anything. Who, who are you? It's okay. 
You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. Why the fuck did we not just... Okay, that makes no fucking sense. I can't believe the driver just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his... Dang, welcome to Abandoned Hope. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Daniel and Angela should be here soon. There's a chain around the gate. Now what do we do? We wait for Daniel and Angela. Do you think they maybe got lost? Good to see you two, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one. Push! That's what I'm talking about! Great job, you two. <laughs> What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? 
You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? <laughs> you take yourself far too seriously. Lord knows why. <coughs> Go ahead and choke. I'm just making casual observations here. Nothing wrong with that. Apart from it being real creepy, so stop. We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at finding help. Fine. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere with you. Oh, fuck. I'm going to fuck this up hard. What? I walked away from you! Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone then. Why'd you come back? I don't get it. This d doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait. What are you doing? Taylor. Look out! What the... What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back! I walk straight out every time! It's like... I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something! Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Hmm, strange. It's like a weird fucked up Groundhog's Day. a little odd more than a little it's not possible it's just like I've been saying we are trapped we can't leave here now okay what can we do? calm down breathe there's a rational explanation for what's happening maybe we all died in the crash yeah nice theory but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking last I checked you were schooling us on creative writing not metaphysics I know who I'd like to be kicking this is all down to you this pissy little field trip now we're stuck here in little no hope that is way out of line I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash you can't put that on me are you for fucking real watch your tone will you I am doing my best to understand this just like you and the rest of us I'm sorry. oh shit I don't, know I don't get what's happening to us I don't understand it's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hmm. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together on. as a team. Thank you. Hmm. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town. So let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There's nowhere else we can Doesn't go. Doesn't the bus have like a uh, 
medical Sounds kit like that to me. comes. I think they come with a the flare, don't they? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Hmm. I say, I was wondering, they wrapped it up nice, sort of like us, like I said, go back to the fucking bus, fuck this little town. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you, you know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Hey, it's a little black cat. I don't like the look of that place at all. Did you all see that? What was that? At least someone is home. Hey, are you coming? I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? I know something is up with you. You said I wasn't your boyfriend. Like, what a joke idea that is. <laughs> Are you for real? Our bus gets totaled, we get lost in fog, and your headline is some dumbass label? You're admitting boyfriend is not a label that you use for me. So what the fuck am I then? Lighten up. You know I was only messing with you. You didn't sound like you were messing just now. Come on, will you? That long, long face doesn't suit you. Your attitude towards us sucks. I don't know what to say to that. Maybe she is right about you. Let's just forget it. Or maybe you like older women more. You seem to fawn over everything she says. I'm really trying hard to like you, but you're not making it easy. <laughs> if you want me to take you seriously, then your shit needs to hold together a lot more than it has up till now. <sighs> mm, man, I'm just fucking up with Daniel. You okay? I'm absolutely fine. This is... <clears throat> oh. Woo. Spooky. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, the show is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Let's take a look around. Maybe find a phone or something. Yeah. <sighs> What's bugging you? All I'm asking is we take I a look. I can't do this. You need to make your mind up. Make my mind up about what? Me. I'm not running around after you like some lap dog. Sorry, I know I can sound tough sometimes, but what happened back there really got to me. It freaked me out, too. I just wish I was better at knowing what's going on with you. Come on. You already know. 
Hey, take a look at this. How about a game? Let's throw a few. May take our minds off the fog. Really? It seems pretty lame to me. You scared I'll whoop your ass? Oh, this motherfucker don't even know. I fuck around with darts. Come up with an easier shot. Go for a single 20. Beginner's <laughs> luck. Try for double seven. <sighs> At least my eyesight seems okay. You know how hard Great that is shooting. to like. Go for the bullseye with your last dart. <laughs> you throw a mean dart, even when you're not in a game. Kind of weird, right? Stuck her with these guys because of that fog. How do you feel about all this shit? I don't really know. We're not having a great night, that's for sure. But I guess it could have been worse. No names, but some around here could do with being taken down a notch or two. What's on your mind? They think I'm an idiot. No one believed me about the fog. Then, hey, presto, they get lost too. And it's like, oh, maybe Taylor was right after all. I don't think you're an idiot at all. Far from it. Thanks, Daniel. We should go and check out. Yeah, making things better with Daniel. Woot woot. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. She's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Natural talent. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. This place is a bust. There's nothing for us here. For once I agree. The sooner we're gone from this dreadful place, the better. How we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Okay. So you can play. Christ. This is practically parchment. From the 70s. Shit. I would really like to leave this place now. Hey, it's Daniel. Or it looks kind of like him. That is one <laughs> hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. I could care less about ancient history. I guess I gotta walk around him. Oh, I could use a shot of that right about now. I really gotta cut down on the booze. We all drink too much from time to time. You should leave. Now what? Can't a guy get some peace around here? Is there a phone in here? There must be a phone in the bar. Lon's dead. You're shitting me. Ugh, everything here seems dead. Cool. Thanks for the help. Yeah. We appreciate you helping us. dead. How do you get 
get behind the bar. Oh. Okay, I guess I... Oh, this is the 301 games. Oh, and then a 501, I think. <clears throat> 6, 17, 19, <laughs> Of course, John's creepy motherfucking face. Comes right behind me. So I'll uh, just kind of wait for him to get things done. Oh, the f oh, the factory closed down. Ooh. Over here. Can we just get out of here? Let's get out of here and. You all hear that? I definitely heard. Something. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. You really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah. Um, looks like the guy that plays. Um, was it Iron Patriot in the MCU? No, it's not. It's Denzel. coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? No, oh, I'm Andrew. Strange. Can you two make an effort to keep up? They're so far in the fog. I'm not really moving any faster than L1. Angela? Andrew? Where are you? We're here! I can't see you! Oh, dude, that's a witch's mark. Andrew, can you come over? 
Oh no. What is it? I just saw someone out in the woods. Okay. I guess you're still a little jumpy. What I saw out there was a child. If there was anyone out there, they've gone now. All I see is trees. Dude, fuck that. Let's get to the groove. Let's go, John. You too. We need to stick close. What the fuck is what the fuck is that? What no. I don't know what the fuck that is. That looks fucking creepy as shit. What the hell? Let's fucking go. Did you hear that? Motherfucker! What Let's go! Let's fucking go! Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? What, dude, Daniel, we gotta, Taylor? we gotta, we gotta fucking go. Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Ah, oh. oh, dude, man, that was fucking creepy. Creepy tree man. Hey, wait for us. Uh, what? Uh, what is that? Hey, come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. I don't even want to touch it. Oh, it's a fucking voodoo doll. Oh, it is a little guy. <laughs> What is your name, sir? Oh. Strange. I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Angela. I am called Mary. Hello. I fashioned her with my own hand. Oh, that's nice. She looks just like the one beside you. That's scary, though. Would you kindly come play with me? No, I don't, I don't want to, though. Come play. Ugh. Give me the willies. Come play with what me. What trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see how you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. the fire why do I, I don't see any fire no oh, excuse me Damn I saw it. them too are you okay how can you not have seen that I couldn't see anything through this impossible impenetrable fog well go ahead tell them what we saw a little girl appeared out of the fog and then just like that she was gone again what is going on? Maybe the fog is going. Why does the Daniel guy sound like a? Um... Stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as What's day. Said her name was Mary. The not Stephen Crowder. I exactly the other like one. The girl in my dream, but she talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary. Did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're ben kidding. Shapiro. That's what Got Daniel that kind of reminds me of. Ben Shapiro. Thought not. Hmm. 
strange. This is a good game so far. I'm fucking loving it. Except that tree guy. That tree guy can go fuck right off. Well, that escalated rather quickly. All things are fine in moderation unless... Lord, what fools these mortals be. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, the little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing in his mind.
Hello. Hey, dude. Yeah. Uh, I didn't mean to pause it, but I heard my garage door open and then shut. The dog started freaking out. I did a sweep of the house. The, like, the door to the gun closet was wide open. So I just did, like, a full sweep of the house with the fucking SKS. So I might be playing with the fucking lights on because I don't know if some fucker's still in my house. I did a full sweep. Every yeah. If they fucking sneak on me, they better be able to fucking dodge 7.62 rounds. This like this motherfucker will be flying. Yeah, that's fucking great. Yeah, like I said, uh. We can end the recording after this cutscene. Yeah, I want to make like I want to like do a hundred percent full check. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, cause dude, that that like that's fucking freaky. Like you said, you've been to my house. It's in the middle of fucking nowheres. I, I don't know. I tried to call my dad, but he didn't answer. From what I could tell, I can't tell if anything got stolen. But, like, fucking Pepper was going off. So, like I said, we'll, we'll end the recording after this cutscene. And then I will do a full fucking house sweep. Alright, so hit, so hit continue or whatever. Like, my hands are shaking, not from the game, but from fucking hearing my garage open. No, fuck that tree guy, by the way. Fuck that dude. Okay, never mind. Don't worry, alright, just hit continue. <laughs> So we can, so we can, uh, fucking end this. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver.